Hey XR developers, I'm making this video to let you know that with v78 we have added a new tracker type for QR codes. If you want to get more information, I made the last video about our new MRUK documentation. Uh, and here under track objects, we now have a trackables overview uh, where we talk about trackables in general. And then we have a dedicated page for tracking keyboards and tracking QR codes. So if we go to QR codes, we have this elaborate setup. So let's just look at it in Unity, how it works. So what you want to do is you want to have a camera rig and a pass through layer. And on the camera rig, we have to make sure that we have all the right permissions. We need the anchor support, which is enabled here already by default. And we need the scene support. For this experimental feature, we also need the experimental features enabled checkbox. And then we need an MRUK component since this is part of the MRUK package. Here we want to go down to scene settings and then tracker configuration and make sure that QR code tracking is enabled. If you have some public methods that you want to call when a trackable is detected or removed, you can do this here. So you don't need to subscribe at runtime in your logic. I prepared some very short code that will show you how QR code tracking works. You will also be able to find a more elaborate sample in the MRUK samples on GitHub. So if we go to QR code manager, so essentially all this does is it's a singleton. So we only want one manager in our scene and on trackable edit, we want to instantiate a new QR code prefab. We assign the QR code prefab here, and this is how the prefab looks like. So we have a line renderer for our borders and we have a canvas that shows us our uh, payload, which is going to be the URL of your website and the tracking state if your QR code is tracked or untracked at the moment. The prefab just has one script, which is called QR code. And you can see here, we can get our trackable. And from the trackable, we can get the marker payload string. So this is the URL of your website. And I think this will be the most interesting thing for people. Imagine what you can do now in your application. For example, you could make a login for your users without them having to type anything in the headset. You just look at the screen of your phone or laptop to sign into your application uh, or similar things like that. So let's look at this sample in action. I look at the QR code of Wikipedia and the payload appears and it tells me it's tracked. Uh, I'm a little bit far away, so I go closer. Uh, it tracks it again. I move the laptop around. It follows. I will also leave a link to the documentation and the MRUK samples in the description. I hope you like these new features, and I'm really excited to see what you guys will build with it.